Just kind of a food for thought as you guys are talking about this and um, you hear about, you know, title and everything being in a, a barrier to entry, but just, it's just a time thing that you guys built this organically. And I think a lot of your peers who've had success have done the same. So yep. it's hard if someone gets 300 million from a fund to just go up and jump in Appalachia because you, you kind of need to acquire this. I, I just think is some of your peers that have built scale look to get an exit and there's been a couple of marketed processes lately and one was successful the other didn't end up in a transaction but there haven't been as many large-scale exits uh in appalachia as we've seen in the haynesville or, or permian for instance if, right I'm, I'm shocked i'm shocked there, there's been a successful large-scale one yeah um i can i can talk to you guys about it after the call i know about it confidentially but um my, what I'm getting at is, it yeah. So well, well, yeah. Back back to your original part of the, the the last question, which was, what was our original strategy? Buy and hold, yes. But we always thought that and kind of wanted to be able to offer an exit. And unfortunately, that you know, exits in Appalachia have been tough. And you know, it's kind of the the double edged sword of, of a lack of competition means that there's less people that are interested in, in buying your stuff. And I mean, we- I'm just wondering though, if well, to kind of flush out my point, you know, instead of just buying the aggregated asset and maybe there's a premium to this, but the data comes along with it, right? Correct. Um, and and, and that, that, that's kind of what, we, what we've looked at possibly trying to do, you know, which is, you know, we've got this organic data set that, is very valuable, but only if you keep updating it and if you utilize it. And uh, you know, can we potentially include that in a sale? And yeah, no, I think um, because where we're at in the mineral space, and again, I'm speaking the, from the perspective of someone who wants to put a lot of money to work. I think the flagship positions of scale have kind of been executed, give or you know, for the for the most part, in the major shale basins. Now, if you want to have a world-class position that is 30,000 plus NRAs or something, you know, 20,000 plus NRAs, that's going to be tier one rock, tier one operators, ducks, permits, lots of stuff coming online. It's really hard to recreate those starting today. So they're going to need a footprint. The data alone, although valuable, wouldn't be as valuable as now we have a flag in the ground. Now we can do bolt-ons and we can accretively grow this position from 30,000 to 40,000, put lighter fluid on it. Um, you know, when Darren Zanovich was on uh, from Mesa Minerals, he talked about the acquisition they made from Live Oak in the Haynesville and, you know, just keeping in touch with Darren. He's a good friend. They've, I think they've added almost 10,000 acres onto that position already, but he said it was essential to start with a, with a big position, um, recreating Live Oak's portfolio would be really difficult, right? From like it can't be done because it's already been done. So I don't know. It's just it's just a, an interesting thought that I don't. Again, maybe maybe it's done in other basins, but I don't think selling you know kind of a decade's worth of that homegrown data and data systems is considered but maybe in Appalachia that is a component that needs to be uh included right yeah yes I think Austin go ahead no yeah I mean I think for sure in Pennsylvania I mean it just the time and money that's been put into it I I challenge somebody to to recreate it and uh I'd be interested to see what it would cost them to do it uh because it's not cheap and I'm sure there's cheaper ways to do it than the way we did it, which was actually with humans, but um, that you know we that worked at our offices, and so there's a level of quality control as well that went with that. Uh, but yeah, I think if you want to continue to buy up there, it's it's essential. Um, if you want to do kind of your own ground game, uh, so but that ground game, as you mentioned, is getting harder and harder to do. I think. 
depends on, I think in Marcellus in general, there's still the ability to get into core spaces up there, probably more in West Virginia. But I think if somebody wants to come in and at least get a, a jump start, they're going to have to buy it from an aggregator like ourselves, you know, um, that did this five years ago. And then they can, they can grow on top of that. Thank <music> you.